Hey, it's Glenn Fox, and I'm glad that you're here because today we're going to talk about neutrals. Now, neutrals, if you know me at all, you know that I love neutrals. They make or break a painting. But I've been asked, well, so how do you get neutrals? What are they? And so forth. Well, neutrals are what I call no-name colors. They're colors of mixtures that support your painting. They literally support what you're doing because they don't draw attention to themselves and they don't, um, they don't clash with anything, they support. And that's what makes it so perfect. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I mix my colors because everybody does it different and there's no one way. It's your way that you discover that you like the best. And oh, by the way, in case you don't know who I am, I'm a professional artist. I, I'm a workshop leader and I coach marvelous, marvelous artists. And guess what? They're just like you. They're great. And so um, if you need to know anything, just email me on any of that or go to my website, gwenfox.com. So I have got it all set up. We're gonna do this demo. If you have questions, please put them in the chat. Please put them in underneath here because I will answer them. And, and guess what? If you have a question, it helps somebody else. So let me switch over and we're going to go for that right now. See you in a few minutes. All right. Now, neutrals are absolutely essential in, uh, in art. So now I have transparent orange, Indian yellow, thalo turquoise, rose violet. These are the uh, transparent colors. I've got black and white that are free. And then if I want to do a little uh, extra, then I'll throw in the cadmium medium and the uh, uh, cadmium yellow orange. So I'm gonna put those over here and when you do your palette, be sure and do the same place for everything. Like I always put over here for my black, and then I always put white right here. And that way I can reach for it. I put my orange over here. Uh, a transparent orange. My Indian yellow, um, which of course I did not realize it's stuck, but I got it. Indian yellow next to it. Thalo turquoise. Um, I put the blues down here. Very little of that because you know and I know thalos are absolutely awful. And this is a rose violet of which I love. I think it's transparent, but we're going to try it. So now we're making neutrals. So now... This, these are, as I say, are oils. I've got Gamsol here I'm going to mix. But I wanted you to see the palette as well. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it up in here. That's the transparent orange. The Indian yellow, which is the same as, uh, which is similar, but this is more orange. Now let's just try and see if this is transparent. Yes, it is. I like that color. I think I almost like it better than magenta. All right, and then you've got your phthalo turquoise. Now, if we mix these, we're gonna get some gorgeous colors. If I want a beautiful green, I'm going to mix the Indian yellow and a touch 
of the thalo. And look at that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous emerald green. Well, it's kind of like a mossy green here on this paper. This is watercolor paper, so it's really absorbing. I haven't put gesso on it or anything. But now, okay, well, let's just see if this one will make a purple. It should. And it does. Look at that purple. All right, but now we're going to mix this one and this one. And we're going to get a beautiful rust color. So now I've mixed those colors, but now what if I what if I want a neutral? I want to mix a little of this with this. Now I've got this nice yellow. But if I do a touch, and I do mean a touch of black with it, I'm gonna have to add more because I got too much. Kind of like that. Look at this gray. Look at this gray. Green gray. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Well, let's for fun just mix. I want you guys to notice that what I'm going to be doing is mixing everything together. Because you've got three colors, and if you keep them you always can get the same color back. Now let's say I want a little bit more of that in this. See, this is where we have fun because we're finding colors, we're, we're building colors. We're going to get into a beautiful kind of a creamy, taupey color. Oh, it's great. Now, I want to mix a little bit of this, of the Indian yellow with this. So we're going to get a much broader, much, see, it's, it's very different because it's got these colors mixed in. Do a tad touch of black. I always get a touch, and a touch is too much, but... I've got this color. Look at that. That's stunning. I love it. But let's make it lighter. Now let's say make it bluer. green. Nice green. The reason it's green because it has a lot of the yellow in there. Going to mix the turquoise with the rose violet and got this nice, nice blue, which if I make lighter, it'll be even better. Add a touch of black. Sometimes the black makes the color just a little less raw, and so it's actually more sophisticated. Now, let's add the orange into this. See what we get. Get a green. But now we know we're going to get a green if we do this with that. But now we got, I, I added a lot, didn't I? So let's add some black. So we're getting, what we're getting here 
are lots of beautiful neutrals. And neutrals, when you have a limited palette and you use these, you will always have a color that you can come back to. And everything holds together because you have four colors and everything. Black and white are always free. So let's add a little bit more of this and a little bit more of this. Now, let's say that we want to bring in another color because we want another color in our painting. We want a an opaque color because, see, these are all transparent. I'm making them opaque. This is a really gorgeous color. Ooh. And so, see, I could add white to that and get it a lot lighter. I like it. I have colors here, and they're all, well, I got black all over everything, guys. Um, that's why you don't um, wear good clothes when you paint, <laughs> which is, I'm messy. So, you know, that's part of being an artist is that if you know you're messy, you don't, you don't wear good clothes. I can, I can put... I can wear something and uh, cover everything except the V in my, at my neck, and I will get it there. How? I do not know. So now let's decide if we want to do one of these. Since I've got yellows, let's add this orange and see what we come up with. Now remember, we're adding an opaque into this. I've made these opaque, but... I'm mixing it into the mix, uh, which is what this is doing. It's toning this down, and it's making a color that, you know, I dare say you probably couldn't buy it in the store. Maybe you could. I don't know. Getting more white out, because I want a little bit. Well, let's put this down. Okay, so we got a nice, rich rich brown. If I add more white, then of course I'm going to get a lighter one. And we know that. So let's, let's add more blue and see what we get here. We're going to get, see, it's different from all the other colors. Look at this. And then, of course, if you add white, you're going to get a lighter version of that. This is the beauty of doing it like this. I love because I love it because everything in my painting is going to hold together because I've got the same colors. I want a lighter gray, a nice warm gray here. And that's a green. I tell you, I'm going to have to add a lot of white, aren't I? Let me wipe this off. Look at how much white I'm adding. That's a lot of white. All right. Let's see if it, oh, look at that. That was worth it. Look at that. Now that is something to write home about. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love it. Oh, you may not be able to see that. I'll tell you what I'll do. This is the color. It's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And that is mixing what I have here. It, you just keep mixing. Now, what if we mix all of this together? You're saying, oh, my God, she's going to get mud. You know what? The one thing about this is that you're not able to get mud if you are using just transparents. Now, I did add the orange, which was, 
and I was strong. Okay, now I'm going to add this. And it may be that there, I don't know if there's a glare on this or what, but look at these colors. Look at these colors. They are exquisite. And they're all from this. All from this black and white. And then the last few are from cadmium yellow orange. So it's just, it's amazing what you can do. You don't have to buy all these colors. You've got them right here in your, uh, in your toolbox. So make sure that you do the neutrals. Neutrals are so important to the painting. Uh, they make or break a painting, by the way. Your neutrals will. Now, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to, I'm going to have some fun. Let's make a very strong color here. All I did was add Indian yellow and the transparent orange. And this is mm, 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 getting close to a, look at that, that green. That is strong and that is gorgeous. So this is how you do neutrals. And I could play for hours and I wouldn't be able to finish. But I mean, I wouldn't, I would be able to, um, I'm not saying finish, but I wouldn't necessarily get the same colors. I would have different colors and it's awesome. It's just, I mean, I don't know, but I get excited over this. Now, one thing to suggest is that you do a color chart. And I know they're boring. <laughs> Trust me, I know they're boring. But they're also fantastic to work with and see, oh my gosh, look at the colors that I can get. I am madly in love with this one. I think this one is just very elegant, very beautiful. So anyway, that, that is the, um, the demo on neutrals. If you have questions, I want you to put them in the chat. Um, hey, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, because we would love, love, love to have you. That way you know when it, another demo comes out. I do a uh, video every Thursday, and so, and I would love to have you. But put your comments in the chat. Uh, put your questions in the chat. And uh, I want to know if you are doing the neutrals because they're so important. They're going to save a painting and look at all the colors that you can get. So until next time, have a great one. I love you and take care. Bye-bye.